Hey everybody, what's going on? John here. You are watching In The Loop Travel. And we are sailing in the ice of 80 degrees north latitude here in Svalbard. I'm on National Geographic's Resolution. This is their polar class ship. And we've made it into the ice. I'm sitting here in my alcove area at my cabin. It's a basic two window cabin. 205 square feet. This is the deck four cabins, the lowest level for passenger cabins. Starboard side, a little bit toward the front of the ship. We're on an itinerary that takes us through Svalbard, then eventually Greenland and Iceland. And I'm gonna have some videos showcasing the trip as well as a full ship tour of National Geographic Resolution. But for now, this is your cabin tour. Let's have a look around. Before I give an in-depth look around the room, uh, a couple things to know about this expedition trip on National Geographic Lindblad Expeditions. Uh, they do include one hour of complimentary internet. The internet is quite good, uh, but for our voyage to purchase a full voyage package, that's $350, for example, for our two weeks on board. But the internet is really good, so I'm able to communicate from the high Arctic even. Uh, they do include a parka, and they offer a water bottle. There's water bottle filling stations around the ship. They do not have backpacks. I know some expedition cruise lines provide backpacks as well, but that doesn't happen. And the boots are not available for free uh, to use on the ship. They are rentals, and you can also rent the water pants if you want to. But just a couple things to know when you're considering sailing with Limblad and how they do it here on National Geographic ships. And here is the room. Um, like I said, 205 square feet. The bed here, each nightstand is a small little tabletop with a little bit of a shelf. This side has the power, USB, two USBs and um, they do have global outlets that do work for both US style plugs and European plugs, so that is good. This nightstand does not have any power, so I'm using my portable charging block there. Each side also has a little reading lamp. Adjustable. And this is the couch in the seating area here, and that also has an adjustable reading lamp if you want to use that. Get a full view back toward our alcove. You can store luggage underneath the bed, no problem. There's a little table here available for use in the room. We've sort of tucked it under the desk so we don't stub our toes. Um, but you can have, have it out in the living space if you want to use it for the couch, have a meal maybe in the room. Um, the TV has a variety of some movies on demand, a couple other stations, and the big thing that I like is this tablet here. Charges on the wall, but it gives you access to a lot of the programming, and you can then, hope I don't drop it, Ooh unhook it and move around the ship with it if you'd like. Take it out to the lounges and read the newspapers. There's daily program and daily newspaper on board there. That affixes to the wall there. Some lights here and some more outlets. They also do have an HDMI port if you need that. And a USB-C, small USB station there. Clock. At the desk, you have one drawer on this side and four drawers on this side. And in the very top drawer, to know, is more power options in the back tucked in here. So that's a little secret spot that many people might not know it's in there. So I wanted to show you that. Some more power that you might need. And I'm storing my computer there, but you get your mirror in here and a little area to store some items if you need wardrobes will start at the very end 
down here. I've left this shelf down mid-range of the wardrobe to show you that it is adjustable and you could use it as another shelf if needed depending on how you want to hang your clothes or what you need to organize. The space is down below and you can see the, the shelves do pop up if you need to hang longer coats or dresses in the space. And then there's some space up top to utilize and these are your life jackets that you use when going ashore on zodiac rides, things like that. And then there's two more doors here. They offer blankets, a little extra warmth if you want them on the bed or otherwise. The safe, there's a laundry service you can send out for laundry. They do have bathrobes. There's a spa on board the ship. And we've used our space here for a little bit of our warm weather gear or gear to keep warm. And then they've got the dressers here, a shoe tray. And this is the second dresser is in this one. Another shoe tray. And then the mini fridge, you can get stocked with items that you want to drink. One more space up above. That leaves the bathroom. Let's check that out. The back of the door to the bathroom, you have a couple hooks so you can hang and dry items. There's two more inside here next to the towel rack. Shelves, large mirror that lights up. And then some space below store some items as well as on this side there's the hair dryer more shelving on this side and that leads to the walk-in shower and you can adjust to have the water come from two different sources that would be a rainfall or from the handle there is a little bench down there grab bar, body wash, shampoo, conditioner. Not here, they have a lotion dispenser. Two more things to show you out here. They have the hooks, being an expedition ship, some hooks you can use to hang your parkas, rain pants, whatever gets wet or you need to just sort of store out of the way thermostat here and the announcements come into the room but you can adjust the volume and turn it way down turn it off in this main space depending on whether you need to get some rest and want to hear the announcements so that is my cabin it is number 421 so it's on the fourth deck here on National Geographic Resolution hope you enjoyed this tour see you in the next video